Hey everybody, Keith, East Village Wine Geek here, and Thanksgiving is gone, people. It's gone. We're holiday time now, man. We are holidays, all kinds of holidays in New York City and all around the country and all around the world. We're going to holiday parties. We're buying a lot of stuff for a lot of people. Now, if you're going to a holiday party, very simple. Buy a nice, affordable red wine. Buy a nice, affordable white wine. Buy a nice, affordable sparkling wine. Ask your wine merchant for a crowd pleaser, because you're gonna go to the party, you're gonna hand the bottle off, it's gonna go on some table, and you may or may not get a sip of it. <laughs> so, you know, you don't wanna think about it too much. There's gonna be a lot of wine on the table. Try to drink the wine that you brought, but you know, that's just not gonna be, it's not, it's not very easy to do. But when it comes to holiday wines, I just think of the season. I think of the weather. It's winter time. And when I think of winter, I think of warm fires. I think of snow, although it's not very cold out in New York City right now. I think of sledding, snowmen, tannenbaums, and the smell of tannenbaums, you know, nettles. <laughs> what I think is cool about this time of year in red wine, go for anything savory. There actually are some really good Pinotage examples out there from South Africa that are really smoky and smooth and bright and wonderful. They can be very affordable and your wine merchant should have some that are really cool and not too goopy and weird. Make sure you have a good acidity on them. When it comes to Europe, one of my favorite places, go-to places is Bourgogne. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's in the Loire Valley and they make wines from Cab Franc. Cab Franc is spicy, 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 <laughs> herbaceous. It's smooth, it's medium bodied, it's a crowd pleaser in itself, and it's not that expensive. If you want to get a little high end, go to the Rhone Valley, specifically the North Rhone, because Syrah is king or queen in that area. And my god, Syrah. It's my favorite varietal. It's deep, it's dark, it's spicy, it's smoky, it's just, it has so much fruit depth with cassis and dark fruit and currants, and oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> They can get kind of expensive. There's a place called Hermitage where Syrah is, for me, reigns supreme. And the Hermitage wines can be a little expensive, 50, 60 bucks. But if you're going to give a gift to somebody or if you want to drink a nice bottle of wine with people who really care about wine, that's a nice one to bring to some friends. Small group of friends because you want to get some, you want to want the wine to open up and you want everyone to enjoy it and you want to enjoy it too because wine evolves. And to have a nice bottle like this and spend a lot of money on it, you want to make sure that you're among people that enjoy the wine and don't just suck it down so you can actually watch a wine like Syrah evolve in the glass. Oh, it's amazing. If Hermitage is too expensive for you, there's another little sub-appellation called Crow's Hermitage. <laughs> there I go getting carried away, rambling on about wine and switching things up. Crow's Hermitage is the larger appellation. Tucked away in the northwestern part of that appellation along the river, is Hermitage. Smaller production, more expensive. Crow's Hermitage, larger area, less expensive. And that tends to be a little less expensive. Now, we're dealing with Syrah here. And if you go south in the Rhone Valley, you're in the Rhone section in a wine shop and you're looking around, there are also wines made from Grenache and Syrah and other varietals, but Grenache and Syrah are pretty much the main thing there. These wines are smooth, medium to full bodied, deep and savory. These are my favorite wines for red wines for this time of year. For white wines, Riesling's pretty popular, but you know what I really like? I like Gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer has this sort of deep fruit, spicy pear thing going on that is great with this time of year. Imagine a Gewürztraminer, a nice spicy white wine with some amazing cheeses and meats just hanging out with good friends. Again, Gewürztraminer's can be kind of expensive. Make sure you're with the people that are gonna enjoy the wine. For bubbly, of course, we all like champagne. Champagne is very expensive and your wine merchant should know the ones to drink. But, um, you know, sparkling wine for me during this time of year, I just do like a nice cava, fun, yeah. maybe Prosecco. Yeah. But really, winter is about red wine. And I personally believe spicy, savory, smooth, deep. Go to your wine merchant, say those words, find one you can afford, bring it to your friends, get some cheese, get some meat, hang out, chill, listen to some music. It's awesome. Wine is awesome, especially this time of year. <laughs>